I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to review horizontal and vertical lines. So let us discuss horizontal lines first. Horizontal lines are lines which are parallel to parallel to x-axis. You are right. So let me sketch some. Let us say this is our coordinate plane. Then a horizontal line will be kind of like this right let us say this y intercept is 5 now can you tell me the equation of this line what is the equation of a horizontal line as far as the horizontal line is concerned we know what is the slope slope m for any horizontal line is going to be 0 right now for this particular line, if the slope is 0, then the equation of the line in slope intercept form could be written as, let me write here, y equals to mx plus b. Now if m is 0, then we can write this equation as y equals to 0 times x plus b, right? So that means y equals to b is the general equation of any horizontal line, correct? So y equals to y intercept. That is the general equation of the line. And since we have y intercept of 5 for this line, y equals to 5 is the equation of this particular line. So if I draw another line, let us say a line here, a horizontal line with y intercept of, let us say, minus 1, the equation will be y equals to minus 1. You get an idea, right? So for all the horizontal lines, what you notice is that the equation is y equals to y intercept. That is to say that every point on this line has y value of the y intercept which is minus 1 in the second line and 5 in the first line. So, so what we notice in all these lines that they have a y intercept and y equals to y intercept is the equation of the line. Another thing which you note here is that they do not have x intercept, right? So, so how about the x intercept? So you say x intercept is none, right? So they are parallel to x axis. Since they are parallel to x axis, right? So all these lines are actually parallel to one another. They are also parallel to x-axis. So all horizontal lines are parallel. Parallel. Correct? So that is the representation of parallel lines. So this is in general about the horizontal lines. However, there is one very special horizontal line. Now let me sketch that one for you. You need to tell me equation of that particular line also. A horizontal line which is along the x-axis. This is also a horizontal line. As you will notice, it is parallel to any other horizontal line. However, there are a few differences. Major difference here is it is on the x-axis. It coincides with x-axis, right? Now, equation of this line is what? Equation of this line here, which is also the x-axis, is y equals to 0. Do you see that? So, this horizontal line, y equals to 0, is a special horizontal line where how many x-intercepts are there? So, for y equals to 0, we have infinite X intercepts. Do you see that? Since every point on this line is on the x axis, y equals to 0. Do you, do you understand? So that is how it is. Now you'll also note here that all the horizontal lines can have any value of x. So in this case, x belongs to real numbers, right? So, so horizontal lines have no restrictions as far as x value is concerned x belongs to real numbers and there's one very special case right so let me call this as a special case right 
where the horizontal line is along the x-axis whose equation is y equals to 0. Now this horizontal line has infinite number of x-intercepts. Okay, so that is kind of summary of horizontal lines and you know that all these lines are parallel to one another. Now let's look into vertical lines. So we'll follow the same pattern, a coordinate plane. And let me sketch a vertical line for you. Let us say this is the vertical line, which has this time x-intercept. And let this x-intercept be at 3. Now if x-intercept is 3, then what is the equation of this line? Well, one question is, can you write slope-intercept form y equals to mx plus b for this particular equation? Hmm, that's a good question. Now what you notice here is that slope is undefined. Reason is that if you take any two points on a line, let us say we take these two points, then what is the run? So we have a rise, which is let us say change in y, but the run is zero, but change in x is zero. Do you see delta x is zero? So slope is undefined since we have some value of rise and run is zero. So divided by zero, do you see that? That run is zero. Therefore, slope is undefined. And since slope is undefined, we cannot write equation y equals to mx plus b since m is not defined. Do you see that? So what should be the equation of line, right? So therefore, uh, equation can be written as for each and every point on the line, what you notice is x value, which is same. So just as we had y equals to y intercept as the equation of the line, here x equals to x intercept is the general equation of the line. So remember that part, right? So important thing to note here is that y equals to mx plus b slope intercept form cannot represent a vertical line since the slope is undefined. The equation of such line is written in the form of x equals to x intercept. And for this equation, since the x intercept is 3, we can write x equals to 3 as the equation of the line, right? Now let me sketch another line for you. And then we'll write down the equation of that line also. Let it be on the left side. A vertical line here with x-intercept of, let's say, minus 6. In that case, the equation should be x equals to the x-intercept minus 6. Right. So what you notice here is all lines have undefined slope. So all vertical lines are parallel, right? Lines are parallel. Do they have y-intercept? They do not have y-intercept. As in the last case, we do have an exception, right? So there is an exception to this rule. Exception to this rule is, you got it, the y-axis itself, the y-axis, right? So the y-axis. So the exception is y-axis. Can you tell me what is the equation of y-axis? Here, the x-intercept is 0, so the equation is x equals to 0. So it has infinite y-intercepts as it is coincident. Coincident means overlaps y-axis. Is it okay? So that is how you can treat all the vertical lines. Now, if you're looking into a combination of vertical and horizontal line, then what do you notice here? That horizontal lines are are always perpendicular. To vertical lines okay so so we can say that x equals to 5 and y equals to let us say 3 if that forms a system 
then this system will have two perpendicular lines. These are perpendicular lines. And the point of intersection will always be at x value of 5 and y value of 3, right? So that is the point where these two lines will intersect. So that system will intersect at a point and that is the solution when we are looking into two lines. One parallel, the other one parallel and one perpendicular, right? Parallel to x-axis and y-axis. So if you have a line, let me draw a horizontal line with the vertical line, for example, like this then the point of intersection will be for example this line has y intercept of let us say 4 in that case these two lines will have point of intersection at x value of minus 6 y value of 4 I hope that is clear so with this we can summarize most of our learnings about horizontal and vertical lines and I hope you can now answer any question based on these lines. Thank you and all the best.